Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noting. Um, the other day, I was uh, looking at this tool. Um, apparently, um, on a Mac, on a Mac OS, there is a, an app called Grapher. This actually comes from from Apple, and then um, this guy is actually give you some very interesting example of uh, like a, a functions, like a, some of them you already know, and then you already uh, can create. Um, using Spreadshop, but this actually does quite a lot. And there's one example like this. Uh, I'm interested with the 3D examples because I'm kind of thinking maybe we can kind of recreate this inside Spreadshop, like this. For example, this thing that looks like a a shell of the snail. Maybe I'll at some point I'll try to recreate this, and it gives you the function as well, like this. Um, I'm probably gonna recreate this at some point, but I saw another example that's a. Uh, I think the, the torus knot. So the torus knot looks something like this, and then I I look at it and I look at the, the formula as well, and the cool thing is that, you can make a little bit of changes here, like change it um, to six, and then oh okay, it's become like a. Just like um, like a curve, and then apparently we can also inspect this and give it a like a three D volume. This is actually more or less just like a spare chalk add on inside Blender. I was gonna recreate this torus knot, but I just realized that spare chalk also already have the torus knot. There is a torus knot nose that I I never actually use, and I think it was. Um, it was developed by one of the Spreadshop developer, um, um, Dolphin Dream, I believe that's uh, his uh, his alias. So the, this torus node, if you actually dig into the nodes and then you study the, the code, how to create this node, um, the formula gonna match this more or less. Uh, there's a, there's a P and then the Q and then there's this formula it's a, I think it's a good study if you want if you're interested to dig inside this uh, torus node. This is exactly the same. And what's interesting um, with the uh, Apple Grapher, you can also kind of give it a color. Let's say it's like a stripes. See, this is a uh, super interesting. Um, I didn't know that uh, this app is actually available on Mac. And you can give it a color. And I'm looking at it and then. Maybe I'll try to recreate this uh, procedural sh uh, stripe shader using cycles. That can be interesting. Let let me try to make the torus knot first of all. So torus knot is very very um, simple to use. It's just like the just like the torus. Basically, um, you have the you don't need to worry too much about the input, and you just need to worry about the piping in this output. There is this normal as well that I'm not quite sure, but I'll save this. This is um, just gonna be our torus not explorations. Um, let's use viewer draw and look at the result. And just as you guess it, this is basically generating the the torus knot, and you can play with the P Q. Um, there's the edges as well if you want to use the edges and okay that's interesting curve resolutions okay that's I understand that there's a resolution phase wow it's actually doing the twisting as well it's really neat um, and if you actually want to give it a procedural shader, I believe it's a nice idea to simply use the the polyline polyline viewer MK1, so we can get a result right away. In this one, I can use a maybe cycles render. Let's see what happens if I just pipe this into that guy. Um, okay, we have this. It's not close, but we can always turn on close and turn on B spline as well. So that's perfect. This is like the perfect torus knot, exactly just uh, like the one you saw on the grapher 
on this guy stripes maybe we can use um, different coloring it's very interesting this is uh, give you like an example there are other as well like um, toroid anyway I think at some point I'll try to recreate this uh, conchoid for now I'll just gonna quit grapher and back to blender so we have this guy I know for the fact that we can give it a shader but I'm not quite sure about the stripes maybe we can use uh, object mapping um, not mapping there is one more texture coordinates we have actually UV and generated at some point I know that we have also the parametric kind of uh, informations that we can use this guy parametric so I'm not sure if we can just plug this into that guy using color ramp maybe it will work I'm not sure um, I'll do a quick render but I'll use emission here for the color I'll try different color render okay we are, we are not getting the the red and white probably I need to make some changes but we know that this is like a like a perfect curve and we already have the setup here that's pretty much procedural we can make any changes and anytime we can also change the the radius and make a twisting and whatnot um, let me play a bit it's really cool this is just a single curve this is uh, one of kind of the most uh, one of really like beautiful thing about math I don't know the formula itself is is complicated but you can simply use it and then you can generate this and you can really you can print it out for example and this become like a maybe like a bracelet or ring if you have 3d printer uh, this is so easy to do um, to generate something like this so let's get back to this guy I'm, I know that uh, the curve in blender actually have an options to to generate a UV spline mappings spline segment texture space use UV for mapping maybe one of these Uh, let's try grabbing this guy this, this seems to be doing something so UV is actually doing something as well so at least we are getting um, some kind of result so the UV is being used there although I'm not sure are we using the U or the UV maybe maybe we need to change something geometry parametric so the parametric actually give you the there's some kind of line traveling so I, I think I need to do a little bit of study on the shading of this uh, curve objects because I uh, what I'm thinking to do is to because we have the polyline viewer and we can easily um, kind of make like a like a curve and based on points so in this case we have a torus knot this is a very good example of the parametric objects that you can also shade it based on the U and the V of the surface so I might actually I'll, I might come back to this after this live modding but anyway I, 
in this one I'm just showing you the torus knot and I think just feel free to play around with this I really like this uh, this note it's really powerful um, and you get that for free with the spray chalk add-on and you can generate a like a complex complex design without too much of the headache yeah you get this for free basically um, yeah so enjoy the torus knot I think um, thanks to the developer that made this the I think it's a good idea to look at the the torus knot Torus node, uh, the, the Python code that makes this node in Spherichalk and also try recreating it using script node light or actually even the script node this, either this of this will work uh, and you can generate your own nodes and that way you can understand the, the math behind it if you really want to do that, that's definitely totally up to you, otherwise just use the node and generate something like this and if you want to go a little bit a little bit um, experimental just plug this into the radius you know and give it like a random value I actually do this time to time just for fun um, but you need to know the number of the points here and in order to get the number of points um, let's see these guys actually have three different curves interesting let me just get the length of the vertices and just plug this into this guy and now we can have like random radius so I guess it's a little bit more interesting it's just it's a, it's a bit of a cheat but of course you get a something that's a little bit more interesting I guess there you go next time I'll I promise that I will shade this more properly like using uh, making it stripey or something but I guess this is pretty much it for this live noting um, thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video thank you